Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 15 of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. We're at the end of the third week and we're coming towards the end of the January transfer window. As you can see, we've had contract offers accepted by Martin Caceres of Juventus and also Leonardo Bonucci of Juventus as well. Now, as I said in yesterday's episode, I do prefer Bonucci over Caceres. I know he's not as fast, but I feel he's more solid defensively and I really, really enjoy playing with his in-form on an ultimate team. So hopefully he can progress and grow with his potential into that sort of Pardon me, I'm not sure what happened to my throat there. He can progress and develop into that sort of player to uh, to have that real influential uh, ability and you know dominate the backline for us along with Victor Ruiz as well. But he doesn't start in this one. We start in Matthias uh, Silvestre and uh, Victor Ruiz because Benucci was tired. He must have recently played a game for Juve in between uh, agreeing that contract deal. And, uh, and signing for us. But as you can see, we're fifth in the table, although only four points off Napoli in top and only three points off Roma in second. So uh, there's definitely still all to play for in the league. And unfortunately, Lacazette breaks away beautifully, but Adol Tarapt just kind of doesn't read the uh, the ball back into the box and unfortunately runs straight on. But we're going to have a couple of chances here. Shot from uh, Abu Dhabi is, uh, is blocked and then we push on into the 25th minute. El Shawar is going to take the quick throw in down the left-hand side. Gorgeous ball whipped in by Kevin Constant. They can't clear their lines properly. He falls back to Abu Dhabi. Lovely step over. Great strike off the inside of the post. But Adam Yeyic is on hand to fire the ball into the back of the net. And we take a 1-0 lead. Now, he was just onside. I didn't leave a replay in. But uh, if you go back and have a look at it, he uh, he was just onside when Diaby took the shot. And therefore, the goal is legitimate and able to stand. But I got ripped apart by Nene there, didn't I? Step over and change the direction. It absolutely did me. But fortunately, the stood up ball and uh, Cello put it wide. And they uh, we, they stay at 1-0 behind. We push on towards the uh, the end of the first half. Lacazette involved again into El Shirao. He's going to cut inside beautifully with a Ronaldo chop. And I don't care what you say. He should finish that finish. He should finish that finish. He should finish that chance. As two or three times this season, he's had glorious opportunities like that. And he's just put them wide. Been so disappointed with El Shirao at the minute. I, uh, I'm not sure what his future is at the club. He won't be going in this January transfer window, that is for sure, but uh, he's really got to impress me between now and the end of the season to uh, to keep his place in the squad for uh, for next year because he's kind of doing a matter for me. If you remember in the Chelsea career mode, uh, Mata had a very, very poor first season and I ended up doing a, just a straight swap for him with, uh, with Marco Royce. Uh, that isn't what I'll be doing this time if I do decide to sell El Shirawi or move him on. But it is the same sort of situation, whereas it's one of the key players that isn't performing and genuinely considering moving them on. But he's got six months to prove to me that he's worth a place in this team. Maybe he can have a storming second half of the season and really maintain a, a good run of form and kind of nail down that first team spot. Because that is what I'd like from him. I don't want to sell him. I want to make sure that he's in the team. He's one of the the best players, supposedly one of the best players, and one of the players with the most potential in this entire AC Milan squad, him along with Mario Balotelli. So I don't want to get rid of him, but I'm not sure what's going to happen. But anyway, we'll come, we'll come back to that in the summer. That isn't the issue at hand right now. The issue at hand is making sure that we can pick up three points against Cagliari. We've gone 2-0 up with a corner from Adam Yates. It was headed in by Matthias Silvestre. So very, very pleased for, uh, for Adam Yates to pick up a goal and an assist so far in this one. But uh, the ball just ricochets about in the box. Unfortunately, their lad just fires it wide by a couple of yards. And uh, we get a let off there. But they're actually going to come at us yet again into uh, second half stoppage time. Cabrera pushes down the left-hand side, whips a demonic, I was going to say whips of a demon of a ball into uh, the back of the net and it's actually De Cilio who unfortunately gives away a penalty for handball you'll be able to see from the replay, their lad's going to head it and it hits De Cilio on the hand and it's a clear handball, he's gone up, just blocked it with his arm, it's unfair, it's illegal and uh, they pick up a penalty, Christian Abiati is up against Nene and that is a fantastic save down to his left hand side to keep us 2-0 up, we maintain the clean sheet, our goal difference goes up by plus 2 not plus 1 and considering our goal difference is a little bit behind those in and around us in those European spots I'm very very pleased that we're able to go up plus two and not plus one but this is what the uh, the title of the episode is going to be because we have an unbelievable offer for Mario Balotelli just just take in what's on your screen right now that offer from Chelsea 62 and a half million pounds 62 and a half million pounds how much money have you got Chelsea it's ridiculous he's valued at 32 Clearly, he's priceless for us. The amount of goals he scored for us this season. He's rated at 86. He's got potential to be early 90s. 
He's the talisman for the club in real life and in this career mode series. He's our main goal scorer, our top goal scorer by a big margin, I might add. He's only 23 years old, but £62.5 million is a lot of money. But there are only four days left in the transfer window. What do I do? I think the only player that could possibly replace Mario Balotelli in this squad would be Sergio Aguero right now. But there's four days left. Would I be able to get a deal for Sergio Aguero done? I really don't know. He's valued at 36 million, which is more than Ballo. So we probably have to put in around about a 60 million pound bid as well for uh, for Aguero. So who knows what's going to happen, man? I really don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do at this stage. I'm jumping into the next game with Roma. It's in the Coppa Nazionale. It's a quarter final of the cup. And uh, last time we played Roma, we drew 2-2. So I really wanted to make sure that we could get a better result here because both of their goals came through fortuitous circumstances. But as you can see, Juventus are already through against Inter and Palermo have knocked out Genoa on penalties. And now it's Napoli and Lazio that are playing at the same time as us in the other quarterfinal. So uh, hopefully we can progress through against Roma here. And Mario Balotelli is going to break free after a great ball through from Honda. I put him in the side in the, in this game just to kind of see what he could do for me and kind of if he could you know com, uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for if he could confirm in my mind the uh, the influence that he has for the team and the influence I thought he did have for the team and he put us in front very very well there with a wonderful strike underneath the goalkeeper into the back of the net and Lulic is going to power past a couple of players before using the uh, the on rushing run of Decilio here to whip it in Ballo's first header is unfortunately blocked but I really wasn't sure what the uh, the initial foul was for there and it took me a couple of minutes to to find out having a look through the replays but you'll be able to see here it's actually for handball it just hits him on the uh, on the forefinger and the thumb and uh, that is handball it's illegals it's uh, in the box so therefore it is a penalty Mario Balotelli steps up and again it is a phenomenal finish a wonderful penalty just inside the post insane accuracy and he's just so good for us that is his 17th goal in 22 appearances for us so far this season our closest competitor for uh, for the golden boot is Alexander Lacazette I think and he's got five or six maybe Mario Balotelli is the sole reason we're in the quarterfinals of the Coppa Nazionale looking like we're going through to the semi-finals of the Coppa Nazionale he is the sole reason we are in UEFA Champions League spots in the league and not either in Europa League or out of the European spots he is the sole reason we are into the knockout stages of the Europa Champ or UEFA Champions League this season as well he's just so good for us I, I think he's priceless I think £62.5 million just isn't enough for me to part with Mario Balotelli. So uh, that is my initial stance on it. I have still stalled on it and I haven't progressed any further with this career mode series. Uh, you know, I haven't recorded anymore. So I wanted to get your guys' opinions in uh, in the comment section on this video. And Ballo comes close to picking up his hatchery. That's only a great save from Morgan De Sanctis that denies him that opportunity. But... Mario is just too good, isn't he? He, I think he's just priceless for us, and I don't want to sell him. I'm, I don't want to sell him, regardless of the fact that it's Chelsea coming for him, and regardless of the fact that it's sixty-two and a half million pounds on the table. I think he's priceless, especially with only four days left of the transfer window. That's the crucial deciding factor here. I think even if I did want to sell him, I'm not sure I'd be able to bring in a replacement that would be. Uh, either of adequate ability or ad adequate potential or even, you know, have the instant impact that Ballo has had for us this season and be an instant replacement and keep up our competitiveness on all three fronts this year. So I think I want to keep it. Well, not, I don't think I want to keep him. I definitely want to keep him. And I think you guys will probably agree with me in the comment section as well because you've seen how influential he's been for us this season. But uh, we are through to the next round of the uh, Coppa Nazionale, the Domestic Cup in Italy. We're through 2-0 with a win against Roma. Lazio beat Napoli, top of the table Napoli. So it's interesting to see who we get in the next round. I'd like to avoid Juventus if possible. Nap uh, Lazio, rather, are a very, very good side. So if we could draw Palermo, that would be the... Uh, the, the oh. That would be the tie that I prefer. I was going to say the preferential tie. I'm not even too sure, too sure whether that's uh, an actual phrase or a word, but that's what we're going for. Palermo would be the preferential tie. I may have just made up a, uh, a new word, but who cares? But as you can see, we're up to third in the league now, thanks to that 2 0 win over Cagliari. Into the Champions League spots, although Juventus and Inter can leap back above us if they win those games in hand. But we're only two points off the top of the table. And if Juventus do win, we'll still only be three points and one game away from the top of the table. So it's all to play for in Europe. It's all to play for in the league. It's all to play for in the Coppa Nazionale. It's all to play for in the transfer window. Let me know what you think I should do in the comment section down below. If you missed the 
the previous episode yesterday, there's an annotation to it on screen on the right hand side that will take you to that video. There's also been a link in the bottom left hand side of your picture for the entirety of the video as well. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, then feel free to do so. There's a link on screen, a link in the in the description and of course your usual subscribe button and feel free to follow me on Twitter as well at Chesnoy Gaming there'll be a link to that in the description and also there was a My Player episode go up last night as well of course it was Thursday yesterday so 9 o'clock on a Tuesday and Thursday 12pm on a Saturday and Sunday is when My Player goes up so we'll have another episode of that tomorrow we'll have more of this next week on Monday but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time